firm representing injured people. And if Andrew ever gets that vehicle parked, why, he'll come in and join us. Morgan, meanwhile, you get to steal all the thunder away right here. Good I morning. Do. Good morning. Thanks for having me. What's going on? You've got a show announcement coming up and all kinds of good things happening. Yes, very, very busy at the Kowalczyk Complex. Um, we have a huge show coming this fall. We just announced it yesterday. Um, Grammy-nominated comedian Jim Gaffigan, he'll be here um, at the KCAC on August 22nd at 7.30. Um, tickets will be on sale this Friday, February 7th at 10 a.m. And if you would like to secure your tickets early, um, you can go on IUPTix.com and use code COMEDY on February 6th at 10 a.m. All right. I have to know, Andrew, where you parked because there was just no way at the speed you were going down that street that you parked anywhere legal and came in here to this studio. <laughs> I, I did a 180 yeah? and slid it right in. You, Who needs that automatic car parking? You are automatic car parking. You just, you know, you just, as, <laughs> as the car's rolling, you just run out, you jump out the door and let the car park itself. <laughs> there you go. There you go. A little Bruce Willis action going from Andrew Thompson. Wow, this is a big show. It is a huge show. Huge. Oh, man. I remember it was a year or so ago, um, walking out, um, we were at the Kowalczy Complex or something, and Andrew came out and he said, what do you think would be a good comedian to get? And I never even thought to say Gaffigan because I thought Gaffigan... Gaffigan's too big, but she's, huh? <laughs> well, you know, you always challenge us to, to, to <laughs> yeah. get the biggest names that we can get uh -huh. in Indiana. And, yeah, uh, wow. Know, like, like I said, I think uh, I think you're right. I mean, Jim Gaffigan sells out Madison Square Garden. Mm. Yeah. So you, you know, I mean, to to have him to have him here in Indiana uh -huh. and um, at the KCAC, um, you know, it, it's going to be a great show. Oh, um, it's going to be fantastic. You, you know. We, we've seen, you know, we've had a lot of great comedy over the last few years, mm -hmm. and, and this is just going to add to that. Um, yeah, I mean, you've list. got Jeff Foxworthy, you've had Larry the Cable Guy, right. now Jim Gaffigan, Morgan as a marketer. This must be a dream. It is, especially because he's super funny, so it makes it easy. Yeah, are you going to sell uh, bacon sandwiches we're or gonna, anything at the concession sell, stands? We, we, we're going to do it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's, it's going to be fantastic with uh, Jim Gaffigan coming to town. Morgan, give the information again. Um, so we announced him yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, tickets will be on sale Friday, February 7th at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, if you'd like to get your tickets early, you can go on IUPTix.com on February 6th and use code COMEDY to get your tickets early. Now how about this? On Friday, all these people showing up for the Heritage Conference Championships, the road to the KCAC. Yeah. They go marching in. They get their tickets to the game if they haven't gotten those ahead of time. And while they're there, they say, Hit me up with some Gaffigan tickets yeah, as well. You know, we're we're expecting um, a sellout crowd for Heritage Conference. Yeah. Um, every year that's grown. Um, you know, we'd like to see a sellout crowd for Jim Gaffigan. So yeah. we're just going to keep the trend going from February 7th on and, and just do sellout after sellout at KCAC because, <laughs> you know, obviously we have great basketball with the Heritage Conference and now they um, were wrapping up the, the final selections last night. Yeah, um, yeah. So well, that was the the boys. The girls center. will be decided yeah, tonight. We're have yep. some great teams. Um, going to be some really good high school basketball. Then the very next day you got IUP and super rival Slippery Rock. They've been packing it um, in too. You know, and IUP great has crowds. been having record crowds. So, mm -hmm. you know, come out and support our Hawks because, you know, we don't, we when Slippery Rock is in the house, we got to come out and support the Hawks and, yeah. and make it loud. So, yeah. um, you, you know, the guys and girls have had a great season so far, and you know, we got to keep that momentum going. There will be a lot of green at trying to make it into this stadium. Yeah, we, into, into there the is arena. no no green allowed. It's <laughs> KCAC only crimson. Crimson and white. <laughs> it's only allowed. So. Yeah. Well, it's the Crimson Hawks and Slippery Rock. That's always a great, great matchup on the basketball floor or the football field. It doesn't matter where it is. Yep. Uh, the road to the KCAC uh, presented by S&T Bank for the Heritage Conference Championships. And you get even more basketball. You got that. You've got IUP, and you've got Globe Trotters. Then coming. we got Globe Trotters coming February twenty fifth. Yep. Yep. Wow. So, yep. and then you know, in between that, we have Golden Girls in the Toretti Auditorium. On yeah. February thirteenth and fourteenth. So yeah, that's amazing. What if, if you're schedule. bored? <laughs> yes, we have something And you for have you. nothing to do. We have something then you for just you. need to come to KowalczykComplex.com. Yeah. Check out all the things going on. And there is something for everyone this, yeah. this month. Just amazing. So, Morgan, as, as somebody who, who markets these shows, um, 
you have a lot of material to work with with all of these great shows you got coming. Yes, a lot. Yeah. So tell me about it. Now, when you're when you're thinking about okay, here come the Globetrotters. How do I get the word out about the Globetrotters uh, and what they're all about? The Globetrotters are great because they're all about kid friendly, family friendly. So they have no problem um, sending things out to Indiana themselves. Um, so they're very great to work with. Um, I've been reaching out to schools, um, youth groups, and I've been getting calls every day. People want to come, so it's going to be a busy show. Yeah, it's going to be will. a great show. Yeah, well, you know, they were the first show that came to the Cavalci Complex when it opened. They were. They've been um, they've been coming back year to year, and we love to have them. And mm -hmm. like Morgan said, they're great to work with. Um, you know, they anytime we ask them for to give Indiana a shout out or or you know partner with our community in some way, put globe trotters in schools, go yeah. around and do some visits. They are more than willing to to, to step up and uh, and support the community. And you know, by the same token, the community supports them mm -hmm. by coming out and, and enjoying some great entertainment. And mm -hmm. I mean, I grew up. I think we've all grown up with the the Harlem Globetrotters over the years. They've they've been an organization that's been around for decades, um, and you know you you don't get that way unless you give back to the community. And I want the world to know they told me to miss the second shot. Oh, I'll tell you that story right. a little bit. <laughs> uh, they, they said if you miss the first one, by all means miss the second because we got something cooked up. There you go. See? I, and I will stick to that to my dying day. <laughs> All right, so tell me about putting together Gaffigan. This can't be an easy thing. You know, there's, this is a guy in, in huge demand. Yeah, you know, this was, um, this was one of those um, deals that, you know, as you know, we, we, we go through just hundreds and hundreds of requests and, and suggestions from, from all our residents and people that come to the KCAC about who to bring, who to bring, um, things like that. And, you know, we never would have really thought that um, we, could have got somebody like Gaffigan, but um, we partnered up with two great organizations, um, two other great promoters who um, do larger shows. Mm -hmm. um, they're willing to uh, to look at our venue in our area, which is great for us because they bring in Gaffigan type shows. Um, yeah. So they they helped us put this together. Um, they got us a Saturday, which you know again, yeah, again you, for wow. the Check Complex. You know we we see a lot of Tuesdays and Thursdays and. And, and those type of concerts, but Saturdays are, mm -hmm. Saturdays we know are huge because that's, those are the big shows in Pittsburgh and Philly and things like that. So, you know, we're, we're in that, we're in that zone, you know, where we're, we're now looking at Friday and Saturday shows and, and things like that. So people don't have to worry about, you know, they're going to get up and school go to work and school nights and things like that. Sure. So, so this is going to be a great date and a great show. And we're, we're happy, you know, with our promoter partners that have helped us put it together to bring this kind of level of entertainment to uh, Indiana. And hopefully this is just the door open into, yeah. you know, a lot of bigger and better shows. And we want to do a, a few more comedians, obviously, you know, um, comedy is great. You know, it, 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 it hits a, it hits a chord, I think with a lot of the Indiana residents and, and mm -hmm. we've had great success with that. So we're going to, we're going to hopefully, this is the first one big announcement for the fall. Um, there's a lot of things going on in August. You know, we have IEP returning. You know, we'll we'll have our first show of the fall season with Jim Gaffigan, and there's just going to be bigger and better things to come. Yeah, after just, that, just know. amazing. Got to um, go uphill. You can't. Yes. You know, you, you, you come out with Jim Gaffigan. You can't. You can't go down. Can't go down. <laughs> <laughs> well, the interesting thing to me is, uh, and and you can correct me if I'm wrong about this, but a Jim Gaffigan show doesn't come unless you are able to get Larry the Cable Guy. You're able right. to get Jeff Foxworthy, and all of a sudden the promoters say, you know, Foxworthy, Larry, yep. Gaffigan's a natural. Yeah, and that's just it. I mean, you know, we've we've said many times, even on this show, that you know, the more people that come to shows and 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 you know decide not to drive into Pittsburgh or or, or go to Greensburg, but see the hometown entertainment that we have here at the Gavalchek Complex, mm -hmm. um, which in my opinion is far better than anything that they do in Pittsburgh or Greensburg. Yeah. Um, as we fill the auditorium, and, and as you said, those other we've had over three thousand people at some of those other comedy shows. It piques the interest of these larger groups, saying, "Hey, look at that venue over there. That you know, maybe that's yeah. a lot, maybe that's a better choice because you know mm -hmm. it's easier to park, it's easier to get into. Um, everybody who comes here loves us. Indiana is awesome about opening its doors to um, artists and groups. Um, 
just a like because it's such a welcoming community. It's not like when you go to Pittsburgh and they just see you for the night and then they kick you out the door when you're, you know, your show's over. You know, Indiana, yeah. Indiana's different. We're all family and and you know we the community appreciates it when somebody like Jim Gaffigan comes to our area. Mm -hmm. And um, they are memorable the show. shows, <laughs> yeah. and, and you know, and, and nothing against Pittsburgh. They do a wonderful job. They get great acts, but they have advantages that. Yeah. Smaller places like Indiana might not have, uh, just in terms of population base to come right. to the shows. You know, when they are as welcoming here in Indiana as they are, uh, then you know it's just a it's a really natural fit. Yeah, it is, and and you know, like I said, um, we ha we think we have a, the best venue in Western PA in the Kabalchek Complex, both for entertainment and for sports. Mm -hmm. So um, why not take advantage of it? There you go. There you go. Got to get out of here soon, Morgan. Once more, the ticket data. Okay, so tickets will go on sale February 7th at 10 a.m., if, but if you'd like to get your tickets early, you can get them February 6th at 10 a.m. if you use code COMEDY at IUPTix.com. There you go. So get them early because, like I said, we're, we're shooting for a sellout on this one. There yeah, you go. You know, sure. If you don't get them early, you might not get them. Gaffigan is coming, and Thompson is going out to try to get his car claimed from that cop that's putting a ticket yeah. on. <laughs> thank you both for coming in. We appreciate it. Yes, thank, thank you. you. It's the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, AM 1160, 101.1 FM.